Hey everyone, today we are diving into something monumental. OpenAI's latest release O3. Some are even calling this AGI or Artificial General Intelligence. Now, before we get ahead of ourselves, let's break down what O3 is. What makes it so revolutionary and whether it truly marks the arrival of AGI. Trust me, by the end of this video, you are going to have your mind blown by what this AI can do. And so for the last day of this event, um, we thought it would be fun to go from one frontier model to our next frontier model. Today, we're going to talk about that next frontier model, um, which you would think logically maybe should be called O2, um, but out of respect to our friends at Telefonica and in the grand tradition of OpenAI being really, truly bad at names, it's going to be called O3. All right, first things first, what exactly is O3? It's OpenAI's latest frontier model, and it builds on the success of their earlier models like O1. O3 is designed to push the limits of reasoning, coding, and mathematical problem solving. Here's the kicker. O3 isn't just another smart model. It's so advanced that it skipped an iteration O2. Because of naming conflicts with a telecom company, they jumped straight to O3. And honestly, it leaves up to the hype. Actually, we're not going to launch, uh, no, launch. We're going to announce two models today, O3 and O3 Mini. O3 is a very, very smart model. Uh, O3 Mini is an incredibly smart model, but still, uh, but a really good at performance and cost. So to get the bad news out of the way first, we're not going to publicly launch these today. Um, the good news is we're going to make them available for public safety testing starting today. So what's so special about O3? Let's break it down. Exceptional reasoning power. O3 uses something called test and compute. This means it spends extra time analyzing and solving problems which makes it incredibly good at tough challenges. Coding Mastery On coding benchmarks, O3 scored 71.7% to put that in perspective. The previous model O1 scored just over 50%. That's a massive leap forward. Mathematical Brilliance O3 is a math powerhouse. On highly competitive exams like the American Invitational Mathematics Examination, it scored an impressive 96.7% compared to O1's 83.3%. Honestly, this blows my mind. O3 isn't just better, it's in a completely different league. When you think about how much improvement that represents in such a short time, it's hard not to get excited and maybe a little worried about what's coming next. We've taken safety testes, testing seriously as our models get uh, more and more capable. And at this new level of capability, we want to try adding a new part of our safety testing procedure which is to allow uh, public access for researchers that want to help us test. Now, let's address the elephant in the room, AGI. AGI refers to an AI that can outperform humans at most economically valuable tasks. OpenAI hasn't officially declared O3 as AGI, but there's a lot of evidence suggesting it might be. For example, in coding competitions, O3 outperformed even OpenAI's own top researchers. Think about it. This model beat professional programmers at their own game. If that's not a step toward AGI, I don't know what is. I'm Sam. So my name is Mark. I lead research at OpenAI. And I want to talk a little bit about O3's capabilities. Now, O3 is a really strong model at very hard technical benchmarks. And I want to start with coding benchmarks. You can bring those up. So on software style benchmarks, we have Sweebench Verified, which is a benchmark consisting of real world software tasks. We're seeing that O3 performs at about 71.7% accuracy, which is over 20% better than our O1 models. Now, this really signifies that we're really climbing the frontier of utility as well. On competition code, we see that O1 achieves an ELO on this contest coding site called Code Forces about 1891. At our most aggressive high test time compute settings, we're able to achieve almost like a 27, 27 ELO here. So Mark was a competitive programmer, actually still coaches competitive yes, programming. Yeah. Very, very good. What, do you, what is your? I think my best at a comparable site was about 2,500. That's tough. <laughs> well, I, I will say, you know, our chief scientist, um, this is also better than our chief scientist Yaakov's score. I think there's one guy at OpenAI who's still like a 3,000 something. Yeah, Gets that'll be. a few be, more months to yeah, hopefully, enjoy. Hopefully okay. we have a couple of months to enjoy there. Great. That's yeah. an, I mean, this, is, it's inc this model is incredible yeah. at programming. And not just programming, but also mathematics. So we see that on competition math benchmarks, just like competitive programming, we achieve very, very strong scores. So O3 
gets about 96.7% accuracy versus an O1 performance of 83.3% on the Amy. So what can O3 actually do in the real world? The possibilities are endless. In science, O3 can solve PhD level problems in fields like physics and chemistry. On these benchmarks, it achieved accuracy rates nearing 88% compared that to O1, which scored around 78%. That's a 10% improvement in just one iteration. In software engineering, O3 isn't just good at writing code. It's excellent at debugging, optimizing, and even creating entirely new algorithms. In education, imagine students using O3 to tackle advanced math problems with its near-perfect scores on exams like AIME. It could revolutionize personalized learning. I love the idea of AI helping in education. Imagine a classroom where every student has access to an AI tutor that can explain the toughest concepts in ways tailored to their learning style. It's not just exciting, it's transformative. Let's talk numbers because this is where O3 truly shines. SWE Bench, this benchmark simulates real world coding challenges. O1 scored just over 50%, but O3 pushes that to 71.7%. That's not just an improvement, it's a new standard. ARC, Abstraction and Reasoning Corpus. ARC tests and AI's ability to think creatively and solve novel problems. Humans average 83% on this benchmark. O3 achieved 87.5%, making it the first AI to outperform humans on this test. Competitive Math On advanced math, exams like AI ME, O3 scored 96.7% to put that in perspective. Most human experts would struggle to reach similar scores consistently. Here's the thing, benchmarks like ERC are deliberately designed to stump AI. They test not just memory, but reasoning, creativity, and adaptability. The fact that O3 is outperforming humans on these challenges, that's game changing. Here's something cool. OpenAI also announced O3 Mini, a smaller, more cost-efficient version. It's perfect for tasks that don't require the full power of O3, but still need advanced reasoning. What's exciting about O3 Mini is that it lets you adjust the AI's thinking time based on the complexity of the task. So whether you are solving simple problems or tackling something more challenging, O3 Mini has you covered. So where do we go from here? OpenAI is already working on the safety testing for O3 and making it available to researchers. They are also pushing the boundaries with new benchmarks to ensure future models are even smarter. And with this pace of innovation, who knows? O4 might be just around the corner. So is O3 the AGI breakthrough we've been waiting for? Maybe. What's clear is that it's a monumental step forward and it's going to have a massive impact on how we use AI in the future. But I want to hear from you. Do you think O3 qualifies as AGI or is it just another stepping stone? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more deep dives into AI and tech. See you next time.